Hi guys, Louie here and today I'm going to be showing you processing. So, processing is an application which runs off Java and lets you program anything you want. You can make an animation, a game, an art piece, well, anything you want basically. Um, as far as I know, it has its own programming language. Uh, it has its own website where you can look up cool things which other people have done. And you can also learn the basics of coding on this website. I'll put a link in the description for you. But well, I'm not going to cover that today, because um, today I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on in processing. It's basically a noughts and crosses machine, or tic-tac-toe. It's currently only player versus computer, and I haven't completely finished it, but let's start it up and I'll show you what I've done. So as you can see, it's a 3 by 3 grid, just like a normal tic-tac-toe game. So uh, let's say I want to start here. Um, I'm red and the opponent is green. So I'm going to go there because I want to get a free across on the top. And you see the uh, uh, computer has uh, blocked me off there and it's going to win there so I'll block him off. <laughs> so you can see that the computer is pretty clever. It knows where to go. Um, when I put my go down it knows where to put it. So, uh, let's look at the coding. Um, so you can understand what's going on, basically. So, firstly, this is the main section of the pro. Oh, no, this is the main section of the program. Um, where everything from the other sections uh, is grouped here and is made sense of. Basically, all the numbers and codes and letters and whatever which come from here are made sense of and become something visual and understandable for us. It's like the home base basically. Um, second, this is uh, for the computer to recognize if anyone wins the game. Then it will say win and the game will restart. Now, the rest of these are the most interesting part of the coding, the logic. This is where I had to program for um, for where for the computer to be able to recognize where I've been, where I've took my go, and put a good uh, and place its go somewhere on the grid, which makes sense, not just a random location. So I'll show you it now. So here, this is the best part. These two, the rest are just yeah. I'll go into that later. So here. As you can see this is an if statement. Now uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. If something is true um, then this will happen. <laughs> that's basically it. So if we look at mine if all these squares, these s1, square1, one, square2 one, are equal to this, are true then this will happen. Now the value of these squares are just numbers, so it hasn't actually made anything happen. It has just said that if this the first square has the value of one, then square and all these also have whatever values I've said, then square three should have the value of two. Now that doesn't make sense. That doesn't really make much sense. That's just numbers. It doesn't have any real visual value. So what I've done here is said that if if a square has the value of one, if the square has value of one, then then the fill, the color, should be red. Two five five means red. It's just color language. <laughs> so now I've done it with all of them. So if so you can see this one's this one's red, this one's red. Two, that means that is green. Two five five is green. And if it's equal to zero, then that just means it's white and it's just basically uncolored. So let's put that into practice. If square one is red, square two is red, square five is green, and the rest of these uh these are untouched, uh, they haven't, nothing's changed about them, then square 3 should also become green. 
So I'll show you that. So when square one is red, and so square one is red, square five is green, and now square two is red, then square three is green. So you can see that that has blocked my, my um, line off. I was going to win, but I've said that if all these factors are true, then this square should equal to 2, should it be green. Now that's all there is to it. It's, it's a pretty simple um, idea, and all you have to do is do that a few hundred times, and you've got yourself... Uh, tic tac toe game. Okay, so if you've found this video interesting, then you can download processing and try it out for yourself. Obviously, you won't really know how to use it because you haven't learned the language. But after a while, or a few hours maybe, and you've learned the language pretty well, you can start experimenting, making simple little activities and uh, little animations and then after a few weeks then you can make really awesome games <laughs> probably better than mine even. so thanks for watching and uh, yeah see you later bye